Hey guys, uh, part two of the box. But first of all, I am smoking the pipe that Jose gave me. Um, smokes beautifully. Um, it, it has anniversary cake in there. I did not dry the anniversary cake properly before I put it in there. Which is fine, um, but I am not going to lie, this is not the first time I was tried to smoke this. Uh, I smoked this last night with some Nightcap, and holy cow, yeah, it smoked really well. Really well, no problem whatsoever. The Nightcap smoked beautifully. <coughs> smoked pretty much just down to the, way, just down to the bottom. Um, there was pretty much nothing left but some of the spittle. Other than that... Um, yeah, so this is a great, great smoking pipe, man. You did a fantastic job on this. Oh, man, thank you so much. Yeah, see, it went out. But that's because I didn't uh, dry the anniversary cake um, properly. And um, anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Uh, I am recording on the phone yet again. Um, so, uh, part two of the box, uh, let's get down to it. Um, I did a lot more in the way of cigars. I, I'm, a, I'm still predominantly a cigar smoker. Uh, I do enjoy my pipes. Um, but yeah, uh, Peter Stokabai's 314 Dark Fire. Um, my taste tend to uh, strong taste. Um, I wasn't quite impressed with the 314 as far as flavor goes and complexity. And then I realized that that's not what that was for. Uh, it is basically for mixing when used properly, uh, which is what I did. Um, I began to mix it with um, other tobaccos, uh, such as maybe like some Orlick or or some of the some of the sweeter tobaccos um i'm not really a sweet tobacco kind of guy but i do truly enjoy multi dulce i don't even know if i'm saying that right i'm sure i don't know whatever <coughs> but yeah uh good stuff um it gives it a lot more um body a lot more uh it it, it gives it a lot more of a stronger flavor um which is what I enjoy um, even my coffee is uh, it's it's dark black yeah it's it's dark looks more like oil than coffee yeah <laughs> but yeah um, good stuff either way uh, and I do also have my uh, Dagner yeah <laughs> so um, yeah uh, either way Fantastic as far uh, as mixing and uh, the taste goes. Um, Captain Black Gold. Now, at first, I wasn't impressed at all with Captain Black, but I did age it quite a bit, and it was okay. So if you mix some of the um, Peter Slokovice 314 Dark Fire, it's okay. Um, uh, also, some Captain Black Round. Yeah. So, you know. Um, holy cow, did I not... Yeah, here we go. Okay. Sorry guys. So um yeah, I've got the um I've got the the stove going yet again. Yeah. <laughs> I do also have some Orlick tobacco golden slice. Uh it's aged about a year and it's good stuff. Very good stuff. Um it's got more of a grassy taste, but at the same time, um I enjoy the smoothness of it. Um, or like mellow mixture that's really really good stuff um, I enjoy it quite a bit uh, it's got a lot of Cavendish um, but yeah you know and then uh, I got a tin of La Aurora's uh, these are good um, strong tasting they actually smoke like, like cigars taste like cigars um, nothing like Swisher Sweets I know I'm a snob whatever but I'm a slob. Good stuff either way. Um, Villager minis. Uh, there's only ten of these in the tin, 
but I enjoy them. So those are both sealed. Whoever wants them, or if you just want to take a couple, I don't know, whatever you want to do. Uh, and I'm also throwing in a Gurkha cigar. Um, HC Black. Uh, Man of War, Little Devil. And a uh, Black Ops. Yeah. So, fantastic cigars. Um, smoke them well. Enjoy. Uh, I'm also throwing in a couple of lighters uh, that I ended up getting in light sets. But I have so many lighters. These are actually pretty decent lighters for what they are. Um, they light well so yeah here's a couple of them whoever wants them I don't know uh, and here is a cigar cutter uh, I enjoy this cigar cutter quite a bit this is probably one of my favorites uh, but I have but I have two of them so throwing this one in and um, yeah, so that is going to be my contribution to the box. Um, smoke well, guys, and enjoy. Y'all have a great day. Bye.